Okay, hi there YouTube and welcome to my first video in uh, my series of videos which I'm going to be creating about thirds and how they how they are used in the sort of mathematic world. So quite often thirds will come up in uh, your non-calculator exams because um, they'll be quite easy to solve with uh, using a sort of standard scientific calculator. So anyway, I'm going to present an introduction to thirds sort of define what they are. So essentially a third is a, a number which cannot be sort of directly rationalised and what I mean by that is it cannot be presented as a fraction. So if you take the number pi for example you may know that um, it's sort of an endless number 3.142 and this just goes on forever. I mean a creative computers which are sort of calculating this for millions and millions of uh, decimal points and uh, so far they haven't been able to reach a, sort of an exact figure because they haven't been able to reach an ex exact figure it also says that it cannot be written as a uh, uh, sorry, a fraction and that's true for all thirds uh, so the form of thirds which you're likely to see is when they are written with square roots so here we have a square root of 5 and unlike, for example, the square root of 25, you cannot really create an exact answer. So, for example, the square root of 25 is simply 5. The square root of 5 it becomes a bit more tricky. It's, I mean, you can put it on your calculator and you get a very long number with a large amount of decimal points, but you're never going to get an exact figure. So, when we have thirds, quite often they'll ask you to simplify the third to the, its simplest form. I mean, it's quite similar to, to when you're asked to simplify a fraction. Say you had a, a two quarters, you'll be asked to, quite often, it's a very simple example, but you'll be asked to simplify a fraction. So it's like two quarters isn't in its simplest form. It can be written as a half. And that's the same with a third. So for example, if we took the square root of 40, this number can't be written as a, an exact decimal, which is why it's a third. But we can simplify it. It's like the two, the two quarters, it's not in its simplest form. So remember, we're not trying to solve its exact figure. We're just trying to get it so that the number in here as smallest as possible. So, when we first see one of these thirds, what we want to do is take the number here and split it up into its factors which make it up. What you are aiming for to do, when you do this, you're trying to aim to make a number which, well, you're trying to find a factor which is a square number. So you've got your, your, your one, your 4, your 9, your 16, these these numbers here. So, this is quite a simple one. We have 4 and 10, and immediately we have a square number. We have 4. And this 4 can be split into 2 and 2, because it's a square number. And when we found this, what we can do is we can take the square root of the 4, so 2, and place it on the outside of the third. So we have two multiplied by this by the third now. And the number the new number which goes in here is the multiplication of the numbers you have left. So we only have ten left, so we're gonna write ten in here. But say we had some more numbers like say for example if we had two, we would multiply it out to be twenty. But anyway, see, if you do this in your calculator, you'll, you'll realise that the square root of 40 is the same value of 2 multiplied by the square root of 10. I mean, quite often if you just enter this into your calculator, they'll automatically simplify it into 2 square root of 10. So I hope this gave you an insight into, um, into thirds and a bit on rationalising thirds. Uh, 
as my videos progress, I get into more exam, more, sort of more more advanced examples. I hope you learned something with this video. Uh, thank you and goodbye.